Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's lesson, we will talk about making comparisons using comparative and superlative adverbs. What is an adverb? An adverb is used to modify a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. It tells us how, when, where, or to what degree an action takes place. Adverbs may be compared just like adjectives. There are three forms or degrees of the adverb, the simple or positive, the comparative, and the superlative. The simple or positive form of the adverb is the base form of the adverb. It is used when no comparison is being made between actions. Tom arrives early at school. The adverb early tells us when Tom arrives at school. He arrives early. Tom's action of arriving early at school is not compared to anyone else's action. So this is the positive form of the adverb. No comparison is made. Another example is, Mary attends school frequently. The adverb frequently tells us how often Mary attends school. She attends frequently. Her action is not compared to anyone else's action of how frequently they attend school. So again, this is a positive form of the adverb. So the positive form of the adverb has no comparison of actions. To compare actions, we use the comparative and superlative forms of the adverb. The comparative and superlative forms of the adverb compare one action against others. Let's look at how we form the comparative and superlative forms of the adverb. We will look at the comparative form first. We use the comparative form when we are comparing two actions. Let's look at our original sentence. Tom arrives early at school. No action is compared. But if we compare Tom's arrival at school to his brother's arrival at school, we would now be comparing two actions. To express this, we need to use the comparative form of the adverb. So how do we form the comparative adverb to show the comparison between Tom's arrival at school and his brother's arrival at school? To form the comparative adverb, there are two rules that we should follow. Rule number one, if the adverb has one or two syllables, we add er to the adverb followed by van. Let's look back at our original sentence. Tom arrives early at school. The adverb early is in the positive form. To change it to the comparative form, we add er to early plus the word than. Our adverb is now a comparative one, earlier than. So our sentence reads, Tom arrives earlier than his brother. To review how adverbs are formed, please watch this video called Part 2 of All You Didn't Know About Adverbs. You will see how we change adverbs ending with L-Y, like early, to comparative adverbs. I will also place it in the description of this video for you. Okay, rule number two of forming comparative adverbs. If the adverb has more than two syllables, we add more before the adverb and then after the adverb. We will use our second sentence, Mary attends school frequently, as an example because the adverb frequently has more than two syllables. 
If we should compare how often Mary attends school to how often her friend Jane attends school, following the rule, we would place more in front of the adverb frequently and the word than after the adverb. Our comparative sentence becomes Mary attends school more frequently than Jane. We could also use the word less to make our comparison. Mary attends school less frequently than Jane. More and less can be interchangeable according to the circumstances. Now let's look at the superlative form of the adverb. The superlative form of the adverb is used when we are comparing more than two actions. Let's go back to our original sentence. Tom arrives early at school. If we now compare Tom's arrival at school to all the other students, we would be comparing more than two actions. To express this, we need to use the superlative form of the adverb. How do we form the superlative adverb to show the comparison between Tom's arrival at school and all the other students' arrival at school? To form the superlative adverb, two rules also apply. Rule number one, if the adverb has one or two syllables, we add est to the adverb preceded by the. Let's look back at our original sentence. Tom arrives early at school. The adverb early is in the positive form. We added er to form the comparative and following the rules we will now add est preceded by the to form the superlative. Our sentence is now of them all Tom arrived the earliest. Let's look at this chart. It shows you a bit clearer the differences in the adverbs using ER and EST. In the positive form, Tom arrives early at school. In the comparative form, Tom arrives earlier than his brother. And in the superlative form, of them all, Tom arrived the earliest. Now let's look at rule number two to form the superlative. If the adverb has more than two syllables, we add most before the adverb preceded by the. We will again use our second sentence as an example because the adverb frequently has more than two syllables. When we compared how often Mary attends school to how often her friend Jane attends school, we placed more in front of the adverb frequently and the word than after the adverb to form the comparative. Now to form the superlative, we place most in front of the adverb preceded by the. Our sentence reads, of all her classmates, Mary attends school the most frequently. Of all her classmates implies there are more than two classmates. Let's look at this chart. It shows a bit clearer the differences in the adverbs using more and most. In the positive form, Mary attends school frequently. In the comparative form, Mary attends school more frequently than Jane. And in the superlative form, of all her classmates, Mary attends school the most frequently. Now let's look at this sentence. Tom arrived earlier than any of them. Why do we use the comparative earlier and not the superlative earliest when the pronoun them tells us there are at least two others? We use the comparative earlier because it compares Tom with any of them. 
and any is singular. It means anyone. So this sentence is actually saying Tom arrived earlier than anyone, meaning any one other person. So we are in fact comparing Tom's arrival with one other person. Therefore, we use the comparative adverb earlier. So this sentence is indeed correct. Tom arrived earlier than any of them. Here is a list of regular adverbs with their comparative ER form and the superlative EST form. I will read the positive, then the comparative, and then the superlative. Early, earlier than, the earliest. Hard, harder than, the hardest. Fast, faster than, the fastest. Soon, sooner than, the soonest. Long, longer than, the longest. Majority of the regular adverbs that we use every day form the comparative and superlative using more and most in front of the adverb. Here is a list of some of these adverbs. Beautiful, more beautiful than, the most beautiful. Carefully, more carefully than, the most carefully. Easily, more easily than, the most easily. Quickly, more quickly than, the most quickly. Greedily, more greedily than, the most greedily. Clearly, more clearly than, the most clearly. Frequently, more frequently than, the most frequently. There are some adverbs that are irregular and do not form their comparative and superlative forms by adding er, est, more, or most to them. Here is a list of some of those adverbs. Badly as the positive adverb, the comparative form worse than, and the superlative form the worst. Ill, worse than, the worst. Well, Better than, the best. Little, less than, the least. Much, more than, the most. Far, farther than, the farthest. Please note, some adverbs cannot be compared. They do not have a comparative or superlative degree. For example, I arrived before everyone else. The adverb is before. There is no comparative degree in arriving before. I cannot arrive more before or less before. Adverbs like these do not have a degree of comparison. Here is a list of some of these adverbs. Before, by, back, no, there, not, now, to, ever, here, past, very, never, then, whenever. These adverbs cannot be compared. Well, that's it for this lesson. I hope you found it useful. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my lessons. Thank you again for joining. See you next time. Bye-bye.